Today, I'm going to go over my average down calculator template. So suppose you invested in a stock and it was trading at $100 a share, and now it's fallen to $90 or $80, and you want to buy more stock to bring your average down. What this calculator is going to allow you to do is determine how many more shares you need to buy, how much more you need to invest to get down to a specific average price. It's also going to show you how low you can get your average by buying at the current share price. So I have a web-based version of this calculator on my website that I'll link to in the description. However, many people have also requested an Excel-based version of this calculator, which is what this is. So I'm going to go over this and show you an example of how, how this works and the fields you need to enter. And right now, there's only six boxes that you need to enter values in. Everything else is locked down just for the sake of not messing with the with the formulas or potentially overriding something. So let's say I invested ten thousand dollars into a stock, okay? And let's say currently it's trading at forty five dollars a share, and my budget is I can invest another twenty five hundred dollars. And the number of shares I own are one hundred fifty, and that automatically calculates my average share price to be sixty six dollars and sixty seven cents. Now let's say my desired average price, the average I want to get down to, is $40. It's going to highlight this in red because I can't possibly average down to 40 if the price is only 45. Right? This number has to be lower than this number. Right? I can't possibly average lower than the current share price. Okay, so what I'm going to change this to is $60. Okay? So now that error goes away. And let's say I want to jump by increments of 50 cents. And this is this is necessary for the sensitivity analysis below. Okay, so I hit enter. Now you'll notice it starts at a share price of $45 and goes by 50 cents each time. Decreases by 50 cents. Tells me the number of shares I need to buy and what my total cost would be. Now anything in green here and in these green bar charts that falls within my budget of $2,500. If I were to change this to, let's say, just $2,000, then that changes and tells me, okay, I can only afford to average down in these scenarios when the share price is at $39.50 or lower. Because obviously the lower the share price is, the cheaper it is to average down. And remember, for scenario one, this tells me how much more I need to invest to get down to this desired average share price. So if I'm at 66.67 right now and the stock was 35.50, I'd have to buy another 40.82 shares, which would cost me this much money to get down to this average. Okay? And that's what this chart also shows me is how how close I am to my budget versus how much over my budget I would be in these different scenarios. So now I'm going to move on to scenario two, which tells me how low I can get my average down by buying at the current share price. So again, here it's going to start at 66.17, which is 50 cents lower than my current average price. Because if I want to average down, it will make sense for that to be lower. So again, it jumps by 50 cents at a time, tells me the number of shares I have to buy, and the cost. It doesn't tell me the current share price because again, I'm assuming I'm buying at the current price and the current price is $45. So if I bought you know three shares at $45, I could get my average down to 66.17. You know, if I want to get down to 56.67, I'd have to spend almost $5,800. Okay, and again, same sort of thing with this chart. The green shows you what falls within your budget, the red shows you what doesn't. And so you can always adjust this if you want to work at different intervals. Let's say you want to look at 25 cents, right? Then the chart's going to look a lot different. If I jump by a dollar, it's also going to also going to change. If you don't see enough data points on here, there's room for 20 in both scenarios, then that may be an indicator that you need to change this increment. Because obviously I can't jump by $10, right? There's not going to be enough data points because it's going to, quickly get me to zero. So you always want to be careful with with the sensitivity analysis and how much you're moving um, the share price by. 
But um, yeah, hope this help calculator helps you with making your investment decisions and uh, hope you find it useful.